Phoenix enter race number nine from Red Shores in Charlottetown this afternoon as the horses swing in behind the Metro Home Building Center starting gate back upstairs to track announcer Vance Cameron for the call. Red Magician, H.P. Bruchito Dragcheck, Jeb Tempo Sealster, Eagle Jolt, ninth race on the gate, top of the stretch. Here they come. Rough and pacing, Red Magician leading him out. Jeb is second. H.P. Bruchito Dragjack will be third into the turn. Away fourth is Tempo Sealster, and Eagle Jolt will trail them early. So the compact field of five settles into pylon positions at the eighth pole. At least four of them did, because the Blue Knight is right lining Jeb early, popping the two hole and sending him on to the front. Jeb takes over. Second is Red Magician. Now third. That's H.P. Bruchito Dragjack. Going fourth at the quarter is Tempo Sealster. And the trailer, Eagle Jolt, is fifth. They arrived at that opening station in 30 and four. Jeb in control now for Hughes. Racing second is Red Magician. Around the turn third is H.P. Bruchito Dragjack. Racing from fourth is Tempo Sealster. Trailing the field is Eagle Jolt. Down the stretch they come. They have the opening half mile in their sights. Jeb will be the midway point leader. Tracking in the two hole is Red Magician. Mid pack third, H.P. Bruchito Dragjet. Then in fourth is Tempo Sealster. And the trailer to the outside, Eagle Jolt 101. And a one fifth, the midway time going around the panic turn, arriving at five eighths. Jeb, the leader by a length. On Red Magician, H.P. Bruchito Dragjet goes third. Tempo seals to fourth. Eagle Jolt underway on the outside fifth. Halfway up the back stretch they go. Three quarters next. Jeb will get them there. Red Magician goes second. From the outside third, H.P. Bruchito Dragjet. Eagle Jolt now fourth. The trailer. Tempo seals to fifth. Three quarters and a one. 31 and a one. 30 seconds flat in the third. They're homeward bound now. Jeb is the leader. In at the rail, Red Magician is second. Eagle Jolt on the outside, third. Deep stretch now. And it's Jeb to double up the Blue Knight use. Second, that's Eagle Jolt. Red Magician held on to be third. Two minutes, three-fifths. Okay, here comes the replay for race number nine from Red Shores in Charlottetown. And we said in the pre-race that this guy had been pretty sharp of late, had a real nice campaign. And boy, did the race set up for Jeb here this afternoon. He was serious, Jason. Sat too briefly and then right line and he got to the front early on here. He wanted to control this today, 30 and four, past the opening panel, still there. Good rated half, 101 and one was Jeb. Three quarters up, 131 and one. And uh, Corey tried to take a shot. He came first up. Mark was second over with Eagle Joel. Down the lane they come, though, and Jeb is still in firm control. As you can see here now, Jason's got them deep in the lane. And Jeb right off the wings here today. Sat too briefly, got to the front, cut it all out, and was a going-away winner here this afternoon. Eagle Joel rallies up to be second, and Red Magician is third. Jeb and Hughes in the winner's circle. Next. Moving to the ninth race winner's circle, number three, Jeb, pacing Black Stallion six by Cam Locke from the Western Hanover Dam Keystone Treasure. Home of Robbie Hughes, Blair and Eric McLaughlin, Jason Hughes training and driving. Double on the training side, a double on the driver's side, and the horse scores in two minutes, three-fifths. Jeb in the ninth. 